Australia's multicultural landscape is diverse as ever. The Australian Bureau of Statistics 2011 census reports that more than one quarter of Australians are born overseas. Another 43.1% have one overseas-born parent. The racial prejudice remains rampant. The Australian Bureau of Statistics also reports that more than one quarter of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islanders have experienced discrimination within the last 12 months. When reporting on multiculturalism and race, journalists must use discretion to not fan existing prejudices. The media can instead combat racism by normalising difference and avoiding racial stereotypes and irrelevant references to race and ethnicity. To achieve this, there are no hard and fast rules. Each story is unique. However, here are some guidelines to help you along the way. It is necessary to refer to a person's race when it is relevant to the understanding of a story. For suspects sought by the police or missing persons cases, when reporting on a demonstration or disturbance involving racial issues such as civil rights or immigration, do not mention race when reporting crimes or court cases. When it is necessary to mention race, clearly distinguish comment from news. Flag a racially derogatory expression at the top of a story. Do not use terms like light-skinned or dark-skinned. Do not capitalise the words black or white. Do not use illegal to refer to a person. Illegal should only refer to an action. For example, illegal immigration, but not illegal immigrant. Do not use geographic descriptors interchangeably with religious terms. For example, Muslim is not synonymous with Arab. These guidelines have been adapted from the Reuters Handbook and the Associated Press Star Book. For more information, check out their websites. Journalists have to find the line between reporting accurately and directly while treating parties with respect and dignity. Just remember to observe how people self-identify racially and ethnically. It is also important to understand reporting with sensitivity and understanding does not mean muting the journalistic voice. Just ask yourself, will this story cause an unfair impact on particular community members?